who tread at the final flight. On the far side, trying to get on terms is Prevaricate. Inside the final 150 yards, it's Outred just in front from Prevaricate on the inside. And it's Outred, a smart bumper horse, makes the breakthrough over flights for Rachel Blackmore. Second is Prevaricate, meet and greet in third. Outred at the final flight. On the far side, trying to get on terms is Prevaricate. Inside the final 150 yards, it's Outred just in front from Prevaricate on the inside. And it's Outred, a smart bumper horse, makes the breakthrough over flights for Rachel Blackmore, second is Prevaricate, meet and greet in third, and fourth was Gordon Die Die. Coming to the final flight, it's Teopo and Jack Kennedy clearing away over by five, six lengths to Quilixios, Jeff Kidder in an epic song. They're very well strung out. Up the hill towards the finish, it's Teopo making a winning start to his season and the bet victor, Fishery Lane, four-year-old hurdle, ridden by Jack Kennedy and trained by Gordon Elliott, Quilixios, long way back second. Coming to the final flight, it's Teopu and Jack Kennedy clearing away over by five, six lengths to Quilixios, Jeff Kidder in an epic song. They're very well strung out. Up the hill towards the finish, it's Teopu making a winning start to his season and the bet victor, Fishery Lane, four-year-old hurdle, ridden by Jack Kennedy and trained by Gordon Elliott, Quilixios, long way back second, Jeff Kidder in third. Fourth of the four was an epic song. Coming to the final fence in the Poplar Square chase, Captain Guinness over. Couple of links in front of Andy Dufresne and third is Felix Deji inside the final furlong. And out in front it's Captain Guinness and Rachel Blackmore pulling away from Andy Dufresne and Felix Deji. Captain Guinness quickly brings about some great three compensation for Rachel Blackmore and Henry de Bromid wins the Poplar Square chase. Coming to the final fence in the Poplar Square chase, Captain Guinness over. Couple of links in front of Andy Dufresne and third is Felix Deji inside the final furlong. And out in front it's Captain Guinness and Rachel Blackmore pulling away from Andy Dufresne and Felix Deji. Captain Guinness quickly brings about some great three compensation for Rachel Blackmore and Henry de Bromid. Wins the Poplar Square chase from Andy Dufresne, Felix Deji in third. Tune Gale gets round for fourth and also completing the course, Serpolet. The final flight in the bet, Victor Brown Lad handicapped. Nothing between Aldo the Apache and Minx Tiara. Back in third place is Jiving Jerry, and it's Aldo the Apache and Brian Hayes grinding it out up the hill. Minx Tiara has got very weary in second, and Aldo the Apache is winning another for connections. Second, Jiving Jerry. It's the final flight in the bet, Victor Brown Lad handicapped. Nothing between Aldo the Apache and Minx Tiara. Back in third place is Jiving Jerry. And it's Aldo the Apache and Brian Hayes grinding it out up the hill. Minx Tiara has got very weary in second, and Aldo the Apache is winning another for connections. Second, driving Jerry in third was a great view. Minx Tiara folded up and finished fourth. It's Eric Bloodax who will lead at the final flight. Eric Bloodax over from Supreme Jet. A tar jumped in third by Yao inside the final 150 yards. And it's Eric Bloodax opening his account over flight straight away. And is turning into a, a lucrative day here at Nace for Rachel Blackmore and Joseph O'Brien. It's Eric Bloodax who will lead at the final flight. Eric Bloodax over from Supreme Jet. A tar jumped in third by Yao inside the final 150 yards. And it's Eric Bloodax opening his account over flight straight away. And is turning into a, a lucrative day here at Nace for Rachel Blackmore and Joseph O'Brien and Jiggins Town to boot. Supreme Jet second, Yao in third.
and it's the top weight, wah wah, wah wah, into the last, safely over and clear from Big Debates and King Alex and then Brandy Harbour, who's running on between those two inside the final furlong and the Cavan Developments Home Builder supporting St Mary's GA Novice Handicap Chase and ah, uh, wah wah is running out the easiest winner of the day so far, wah wah collects on the top weight for Brian Cooper and Dermot McLaughlin and it's the top weight, wah wah, wah wah into the last, safely over and clear from Big Debates and King Alex and then Brandy Harbour who's running on between those two inside the final furlong and the Cavan Developments Home Builder supporting St Mary's GA Novice Handicap Chase and ah, uh, wah wah is running out the easiest winner of the day so far, wah wah collects on the top weight for Brian Cooper and Dermot McLaughlin, second Big Debates, Brandy Harbour in third. The leader is Indiana Jones from Jeremy's Flame. Jen Walls trying to close, although it didn't meet that fence on his stride. Mr. Incredible on the far side of Alcora. They're bunching up the hill. Indiana Jones from Jen Wall. Mr. Incredible on the far side with Jeremy's Flame. It's Indiana Jones, Mr. Incredible, and Rachel Blackmore is hovering up a four timer. Mr. Incredible. The leader is Indiana Jones from Jeremy's Flame. Jen Walls trying to close. Although it didn't meet that fence on his stride, Mr. Incredible on the far side of Alcora. They're bunching up the hill, Indiana Jones from Gen War. Mr. Incredible on the far side with Jeremy's Flame. It's Indiana Jones, Mr. Incredible, and Rachel Blackmore is hovering up a four-timer. Mr. Incredible has run down Indiana Jones. Behind them was Jeremy's Flame in Gen War and Alcora. Mr. Incredible picks up where he left off here in January. Fences in front of him on this occasion. Racing to the final furlong and the Irish EBF Mare's bumper. Nothing between Balatior and Kilbarry Chloe. They have the finish to themselves. Back in third place is Madame Bell and it's Balatior and Jamie Cott now too clear from Kilbarry Chloe and up towards the finish. It's Balatior from Kilbarry Chloe fighting back, but Balatior, a quality related filly, has seen off Kilbarry Chloe. Racing to the final furlong and the Irish EBF Mare's bumper. Nothing between Balatior and Kilbarry Chloe. They have the finish to themselves. Back in third place is Madame Bell and it's Balatior. And Jamie Cott now too clear from Kilbarry Chloe and up towards the finish. It's Balatior from Kilbarry Chloe fighting back. But Balatior, a quality related filly, has seen off Kilbarry Chloe. And a remote third, Madame Bell. <laughs>